Well, it was a hot week for a county fair, and John Monk made the trip to Seneca County today to see how attendees and exhibitors and all the animals were trying to keep cool. A quick round of rain rolling through Friday morning was a bit of relief from the oppressive heat for folks at the Seneca County Fair. Since Monday, the biggest worry here has been keeping people and animals cool, which is why many of the animals who aren't a part of commercial sales were sent home early. Space the barns out a little more, get some more oxygen through, get, them, get the kids, the animals back home and try to keep everybody healthy. The best tool to keep these barns cool? Fans? Fans and more fans. Meanwhile, fair directors and staff were busy all week making extra golf cart runs to keep people off of their feet and making sure the exhibitors were well taken care of. We got shifts running the barns, making sure everybody's got water, clean, fresh, cold water as much as we could. We got the chicken barn has actually run two kids a shift. Volunteers who served hot food inside the lunch pavilion made sure to take turns preparing the food over the fryers and grills. We do four hour shifts, that mm -hmm. way we're not overworking ourselves, yeah. and it normally goes pretty good. And the 4-H kids I spoke with said they ended up spending less time than usual out and about with friends this week, and more time with their animals. They like the nice cold water, and mm -hmm. I mean we take them out and walk them around and when there's a breeze and stuff. Mm -hmm. Make sure like their bedding is clean, mm -hmm. and yeah, give them f fresh water, or water if they need it in general. And fair leaders are looking forward to getting through today's tumultuous weather because they know once this weather breaks, the rest of the weekend looks pretty pristine. Reporting from Seneca County, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.